is this belief, is this thought, is this action useful for me? Is it going to get me to where I want to go or is it not? If it's not, delete it. There are somebody who's watching <laughs> and they are struggling with putting ideas and believing the ideas as facts. So as we close, what is the one thing that you want to tell the person who is internalizing that as fact and it's in fact fear? How, how, what is the one thing that you would be able to tell that person right now? Yeah. So it's really interesting. Like the concept of truth, there's people who get so hung up on like facts and truth and evidence. And the thing is, is like, if you look at any field, like for example, the weight loss industry is a great example. You will find evidence, scientific papers that prove coffee is horrible for you. And at the same, in the same vein, you're going to find evidence and proof that coffee is great for you. Meat is bad. Meat is good. This is bad. This is good. And you'll actually find the evidence for it. And you have these experts that are constantly fighting each other, arguing with each other. There's wars that are fought over what is the truth like what is the religious truth right like what is actually fact and I just like gave up on truth and facts a long time ago because what I've realized is that in the end it's like what is true for you and also what is it's more useful to think like what is useful for me like is this thought actually useful is this mm. belief actually useful is it serving me or not serving me because there's no such thing as right or wrong. Like we create the idea of what is right or wrong. We create the idea of what is right or wrong for us, for other people, for the world. But ultimately that doesn't exist. And so I just ask myself like, okay, all of this aside, all of society's conditioning aside, like is this belief, is this thought, is this action useful for me? Is it going to get me to where I want to go or is it not? And if it's not, delete it. And if it is, follow it. Hmm. I couldn't think of a better way for somebody who's listening right now to be like, first thing I'm going to do, first course of action beyond anything else is to ask myself, is this thought useful? And if it's not, delete it. And Can I share a quick story? Please. Based off of this. So I was in an Uber and I typically like, if, if I'm out in public and people are like, what do you do for a living? Like, don't even ask me. Like, I hate talking about it because I don't know how to describe it. Right. First of all, to like a normal person who just, you know, is doing normal things or more societally normal things. And also when people are like, tell me about manifestation, I've never heard of it. I'm like, oh God, like, cause it's just, I really vibe more with people who have an idea of it and they want to hone it in and they want right. to go to the advanced level. I'm not the person to come to, to share You're not all the, the gateway. beginning. I'm yeah. not the gateway make up into a job. it. Just make exactly. Up a job. <laughs> so I was in this Uber and he's like, so what do you do? And I go, here we go. And so we had this conversation and you can just tell that he was like not vibing with anything I was saying. And he was like, at the end, he's taking us to the airport. Actually, it's like four in the morning, me and Brennan, my husband. And he was like, oh, so you basically just lie to yourself um, to, or like, that's what manifestation is. And I went, you know what? You're right. I do lie to myself. Just like, you lie to yourself that life isn't working out for you. I lie to myself that life is working out for me. And so it doesn't matter in the end. We're all just lying to ourselves. We're all just making things up. And the universe is responding to whatever it is that we make up for ourselves. And for whatever reason, I was just like, wow, that's never come out of my word, my mouth before. It was a little aggressive, but okay. We got out of the car. We went um, on the plane. And after we landed... I go on my Instagram DMs and I have a DM from the Uber driver. And he said, Stop. what you said to me literally changed my life. I bought your book. I'm listening to your <laughs> podcast. Like, he's like, you're right. Like, if I'm going to lie to myself, it might as well be Make a really good, good lie that works for me mm. and gets me what I want. Mm. We're going to lie to ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. May it be a, <laughs> good, it good. Lie. <laughs> be a good Make lie. Make it a good lie that changes our lives. 